Entry 2432 place third. Innisfail Rue Stella 5094 EXP piece, exhibited by Roth Dairy, Jonathan Roth of Milford, Nebraska. Entry 2433 placed fifth and was the production award winner. Easterbrook Lee Rosa EXP shown by Easterbrook, the Don Damro family of Juneau, Wisconsin. Entry 2434 was sixth. Entry 2435 was the winning entry, best utter and best bread and own. In his fail row, lady 5086 twin EXP, shown by John Stewart Rao of Orland, California. Entry 2436 was eighth in the winning junior, Wuben Horse Stetson Mary, shown by Byers Dairy Farm, Bradley Byers of Milo, Iowa. Entry 2437 was fourth. Entry 2438 placed seventh. The class now entering the ring is the aged cow class. The first place award is presented by Jim King of Geneseo, Illinois, and the production award is being presented by Swiss Valley Farms of Davenport, Iowa. The Best Utter Rosette is presented by Cattle Connection of Amory, Wisconsin, and the Junior Award is presented by Hillcrest Alfalfa of Campbellsport, Wisconsin. Our judges have named their winners in the fall heifer calf class in the International Brown Swiss Show. If I could have the junior winners, please take a step forward. Second place junior is entry 730, Mill Wheel Par Felicity ET, exhibited by Maggie Opperman of Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. The winning junior entry is entry 712, Cherry Crest Wonderment Star, exhibited by Dylan Coleman of Ronks, Pennsylvania. Third place in the class goes to entry 720, Hills Valley Legacy Fly ET, exhibited by Chris and Jennifer Hill, Kathy Whitman. Judge Trapp has completed his placings in the Age Cow class. I'd first like to recognize the production award winner. She is entry 2444, Tech Star Othello Perry, shown by Hardcore and Springville Farm of New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. In third place is entry 2440, Lake Effect MD Lauren 7215, shown by Gregory and Elizabeth Clark and John Anderson of Cornish Flat, New Hampshire. In second place is entry 2442, Dan Sal Megadeth Zena, shown by Susan Lee and Michelle Upchurch of Tillamook, Oregon. Winning the class, she's best bred and owned and the best utter, entry 2447, Landsbrook Christina EXPET, shown by Jordan Landsgard of Landsbrook Farm, St. Olaf, Iowa. Congratulations, and now to Judge Trapp. Well, a lovely group of aged cows out here. This first cow I'm starting with, one of the oldest cows in the class. She's eight years of age, had seven calvings. Uh, that gives her Three more calvings than her cow in second. Uh, this youthful eight-year-old cow uh, parades so much nicer on her rear feet and legs with more ease and flex the hock. And for having that one many more calvings, just as youthful in the udder, has a little bit more length of water uh, than this cow that's coming out in second. Also, when you get to the top of the rear udder, this cow's got a little bit more width than the speckled cow that's coming out in second. Second over third, the second cow just gets it done today on the one there on the move. She holds her loin a little, quite a bit stronger. She's got those thurls placed more equidistance between her hips and pins than the big dairy cow that's coming out in third. The second cow also for us when they're standing in line keeps those legs square beneath that rump structure and also has less set to the hock when you view them from the side. And as you analyze their other, our second cow for us, 
has just got a little bit more balance and symmetry uh, from front to back compared to this ultra dairy cow that's coming out in third. This cow in third uses that great open dairy rib design, that high chine, that sweep to the rear rib to go over uh, this uh, another very dairy cow that's coming out in fourth with a great rear udder. It is her height and width and an extension and a bloom of the rear udder of this dairy cow in fourth that carries over the cow that's coming out in fifth. The next cow uh, behind her, she just moves so much nicer on those rear feet and legs, has more definition of semen, has a more desirable teat than the cow that's coming out in six. Congratulations to our exhibitors.